ganda. Maganda siyang art breakout train. Itong tech. Sana magkaroon ng momentum to. Yung yung momentum na ano. Sunod-sunod na, na ano, na green candles. Ngayon ko na kung hindi pa tuloy-tuloy na green candles siya. Hindi pa yung momentum para sa iyo. I don't know what is. <laughs> so nagkaroon ng pag breakout support, the 20MA support which is a good support for fast trending stocks. Then after breaking out, dun sa box natin, sunod-sunod natin. Paliit, lumiliit, ano? And right now, it's retracing. Ang inaabangan natin dyan is what, uh, what nang bumalik sana dito sa support nito, which is 30 and 40. Wala ka dyan. Dyan ka na lang, Beshi. Wala ka lang, wala ka lang bumalik. Next, PKR. So, if Ipipilit natin kung magbe-breakout siya dito sa, what's this? 282. So, 282, 282 pala to. So, that could be your, your breakout point. Pero, what I'm hoping for BKR is to consolidate some more para magkaroon ng mas mataas sa base. Baka magtataka kayo kung ano yung reason to bakit may pag-nagpukumpunan ng mga kahayop. Uh, hindi ko pala na-discuss last time kasi that's some people na cheat resistance. So, 61.8 again. For me, tatlo lang yung mahalagang Fibonacci. It's 38.2, 61.8, and 50%. Those are my tradable levels. Ngayon yung mga mahalagang support or resistances na pinitignan ko. Now, 61.8 and 38.2 are Fibonacci numbers. 50%, hindi siya talaga Fibonacci numbers. Inagay lang siya dun ng mga traders. Kasi uh, nakikita nila that price is behaving or reacting sa so 50% move. Okay. But 50% is not the Fibonacci number. So, ayun yung mga hinaharap natin. Ito, ang nag-resist sa BKR ngayon is yung 61. Itong long term Fibonacci. After nyo mag-breakout dito sa range niya. So, right now, nagpo-consolidate. Ngayon, ang nagtataka ko dito sa BKR is even na 61.8 is nag-resist. Bakit hindi pa siya bumabagsak ng tuloy yan? Look at RSI. It's still above 7. It's refusing to hold. And that's something na kailangan mo pag-isipan kung mabuti as a moment trade. ba? Diba? Para bakit? Bakit hindi pa itong bumabagsak? Ito, ito during this day. Ito yung haba na ito. The width. Haba na the width dito. Pero, na-close pa rin. Nang mataas. And that's something na parang mapapa, ano ka, mapapaisip ka. So, ngayon, ito consolidate si PPR. And this, as far as Darvas is concerned, pwede natin itong gawin 2 boxes or 1 big box. Nakita ko muna yung 2 boxes. So, yung first box natin to be here. Second box natin. So, again, itong ganitong plotting, meron siyang character. Diba kasi, higher low. This one is This one is a higher low. Ha? Now, pwede rin siyang isang malaking box. And ang gagamitin na natin dito is yung uh, ito. Meron ng 50%. So right now, if titikun nyo, sa body ako nakaplat na, titikun mo, the price is consolidating above 50% of that big box which is di ba nga ayun yung hinahanap natin okay pero pero hindi pa rin tayo bibili dito sa consolidation na to. or sorry hindi pa rin ako bibili dito sa consolidation kasi 61.8 yun na resist and I respect that ba nire-respect natin yung mga resistances and their power to to resist price action That's why, ang tinitignan ko dito is itong breakout ko. Itong 96, itong petots. Okay. Meron kang suporta ng AOPS. 
This could easily be a paid outfit for us. Magpo consolidate. Diba sabi natin, we want PBR to consolidate some more para mag-build yung higher things. Pero, huwag pili ng bili kasi ako kaya pwede mo pong mabayan dito sa support ko. Diba? Anything can happen. Next is very interesting stuff. So, kung itong i-discuss, Alco. Itong resistance na to, ang reference niya is itong candle na to, ha? Tapos, in confluence siya with 100MA. So, important level yan. Na kapag, kapag that's 114, 115. So, kapag ka na-break yan, mapapa, huy! Ganun. Huy! Nag-break! Diba sabi ko, kailangan natin i-respect yung mga resistance, especially 100 MA. It's not something na hindi mo sila dapat iisang tabi na kasi their role is to resist. It's their own role. Itong si Alco is trying to break out ito, sa resistance na pinag natin dito. And dito sa warang. And this one, wag, wag niyo pa itong don't consider this as a uh, strong breakout. Ano? Kasi unang-una, yung RSI nito is still below RSI 7. This one kasi is a lower high pay. Kaya yung natawag na ng PSCF. Lower high pay. If we're gonna look at the structure of the trend of this one. Ito yung top stop ng Alco. Okay. And after hitting that, nagkaroon na pag-pull back dito. Diba? So this is your reference point for your high this one naman is your reference point for your low now after yung nagkaroon ng pullback nagkaroon ng pag rebound which is ito yung dalawang to so kung ito yung high ang tawag dito lower high okay So, burahin na natin ito kasi pinaka-reset yung lower high for resistance ito. Which is hindi niya pala naman na-break. Pero na sideways, pero itinaya. So, this is one is lower high. Now, after this lower high, kung mag-suck yung stock, and na-break yung previous low. Which is this one. Ayun mo. Ito yung previous low. Then, yun po mag-suck mo. Now, meron na tayo yung low. Which is tawag natin natin dito is lower low. And in, an, in, in sa anatomy ng downtrends, we know na downtrends are formed by lower highs and lower lows. So this one is makoconfirm natin siya na downtrend siya. Itong si Alco. Now, ang expectation natin after this after this rebound, di ba, baka ang play dito is another lower high. Okay. So, pwede anywhere here. So, pwede from here, umangat siya at dito. Okay. <clears throat> umangat siya dyan. This one would still be a lower high. Kasi ang previous lower high niya would be this one. Okay. Kapag ka na, na tinamaan to, ang tawag na dyan is equal highs. Which is sideways na. Dun sa anatomy ng trends na. So this one, it could go for a lower high play. Hindi natin alam po kung ganda yung action. That would still be, this one would still be a lower high play. Diba? And then after that, pwedeng, pwedeng may pagpagsak na. Which is another lower low. Diba? Structure ng downtrend na tinitin. Okay, so, sa downtrend, pwede natin i-trade yung mga rebounds going ito. This one is a rebound going to lower high. So, ito, meron tayong mini uptrend dito. What I like about Alpha is yung mini uptrend dito. Is this one. So, if ang titigyan mo na trend is this one. This one is higher low. Yung reference ko first low. So, it's higher low. Yung reference ko first low. So, meron ka na, that's, that's an uptrend naman. But this one is 
an uptrend, a mini, 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 mini uptrend in a medium term downtrend. Okay, medium term growth. So, ayan yung lumalaban para umangat yung price. And right now, it's testing 110. So, pwedeng mag-continue to in the coming days. Ba, ito, break, to break out this uh, breakout point sa so 124. Okay, or mag-bull trap siya. Again, ang bull trap, hindi lang siya nangyayari sa hindi lang siya nangyayari sa Carbas. Nangyayari din yan sa FX. Kapag ka bumalik yan, tomorrow, below 100 MA, that's a bull trap. Okay, and uh, siguro ang kailangan nyo malaman or kailangan nyo abangan dito sa sa Alco is yung pag-breakout sa RSS. So, this is still a lower effect. Uh, meron tayong dalawang variations. Diba? Ito, parang sa MRC. Same anatomy. Ito sa MRC. Ito yung pinakaunang kay natin. Reference ko dyan. For the top. For the top is top. During this move. During this trend. Then, nagkaroon ng yung first flow natin. Okay? Now, after this rebound, ito rin ang lower high. Bakit, bakit siya lower high? Kasi this one is low, lower than this one. Ito rin ang simple yun. Now, after this lower high, nagkaroon ng pullback. And, nagform ng lower low. So, meron ka ng anatomy na kan. Dito pa lang, alam mo na, na downtrend yung anatomy. Kasi, low, lower high ka. Meron ka isang low dito, and then, you have one lower high dito. Pwede na, yung ay, teka, baka mag-upinate dito po ka tapos which is dead. Dito. Evidently. And then, after this one, teka, downtrend to, so meron na akong low, meron na akong lower high, meron na akong lower low, baka mag-lower high siya, which happened here. So, okay, this is a lower high. Okay. Now, as, as a trader, pwede mo rin i-trade yung downtrends. Ako kasi, I started trading downtrends first. Nag, Nag-serious ako sa stock during the bear market. Kaya medyo, medyo sa downtrend ako na-practice. Okay, and then yung lumipat ako sa uptrend, parang sabi ko, mas madali pala mag-trade ng, mag ng uptrends. Pero medyo practice natin tayo sa downtrend. So, ang opportunity mo as a as a momentum trader or a swing trader is itong mga groups. Ano yung conclude na? Yung mga lower high groups. Yung mga pa moves pa punta ka lower low to low. At dyan kakikita. Okay, huwag mo i-trade ito. It's not good to trade this one. Open ka sa lower. Okay, ang i-trade mo lang dyan is yung mga pa-apat. Obviously, di ba? Hindi dyan tayo nakakita ng pupunta. Alpo is like this. Ganun-ganun yung ano, ganun yung nakikita natin sa akin. So, meron tayo ito. Ito yung dito na kung kasi natin pa. Ito yung hindi natin. Dito natin pa, kaya nito about anywhere here para lang magkaroon ng lower trend. Kapag tumulak yan dito sa 155, dyan ka magtaka. O, okay, dyan ka magtataka. Kasi this one, parang sabi mo, ang, ang, ang thought process natin dyan is, teka, dapat lower high to. Hindi niya dapat matatouch itong previous lower high. No, kapag ka tumulak yung alpo, in the coming days, gumanya. Humeshi ng ganyan. Pwede ka nang i-side twist ito. And, again, ang previous uh, anatomy na tinitignan natin dito sa alpo is downtrend. Diba? Ngayon, meron ka ng side twist if and only if tumulak siya dito. Dito sa level. Hindi natin alam kung kailan it could be this month, it could be next month, next three months. Hindi natin alam. Okay, so, pagka ganyan, yung sa unang scenario kasi is downtrend lang yung option mo. And your only way to to earn is yung full uh, is yung rebound from lower low to lower high. Mayon meron ka na sideways, di ba? Mamaya kapag ka nag break out sa sideways na yon, meron ka ng uptrend. Di ba? Pwede ko pwede nang itik out itong one seventy one. Na pagkita ko pa lang sa si inyo, pwede mo. Meron ka ng ganito ng tapos kapag ka tumulong sa sideways na yun, sideways gaming. 
diba? Hindi hindi lang doctor. Pero I, I'm not saying na hindi pa rin pwedeng mapunta sa doctor. What I'm saying is, hindi na lang downtrend yung option. Diba? Meron ka ng downtrend and sideways. Pag na-breakout niya, meron ka ng pwedeng uptrend ulit. Mangyayari lang yun, if and for the day, kung take out yan ang ito. So, that's yung pinaka-dramatic dito sa Alto and then sa MRC, those are your lower high rates. Ngayon, yung ginawa ni Tokes, during this, this leg, okay, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Right. Now, at tinitignan, ang, ang nearest reference point natin dito, after taking this one, this lower low, We're making this lower low. Ito na marami kami. Ito lower, lower, uh, low to. Ito is what's lower low. This what's lower low. Ito is what's lower low. Ito is what's lower low. Yung lower high naman, ito yung high. Ito is what's lower high. Lower high, lower high. Yung pinaka-reset na lower high, ito is what's lower high. sabi ko, imagine natin na nandito kayo during this time, during this week. And then your expectation is that since itong previous trend is series ng lower, lower, lower trends, your expectation is that magkakaroon din ng another lower high that is lower than this price. Okay, that is lower than this price. Okay? Lower than this price. Parang, parang sabi mo, if it's gonna... Uh, continue its anatomy. Ang, mga, ang pwede kong imagine it na moves is kunyari, nag-i-imagine na tayo, kunyari ganyan, and then, we'll continue to go down. Ibig sabihin, kinukontinue niya yung down. Okay, but, nung nangyari dito, ito, yung particular point na ito, yun yung twist. Na-trigger na yung side twist. Na option. So, parang meron ka ng option na ganar. Waste option. Ito, pwede mo siya tignan as malaki. Or, as long as protected yung if yung lead point dito. If lumag pa siya dito, continue to uptrend. If bumagsak naman siya dito, continue to downtrend. 